Hi there and welcome! Thanks so much for watching. It's pretty common that I'm working with data in Excel that I need to separate it into two or more columns, and Excel makes it really easy to do that. I've got three different examples here. The first one is where we've got a name, a full name here in column A, and we need to separate this into first name and last name, two separate columns. To do this, just select whatever your data is that you want to separate, then come up to Data, and text to columns. There's two different options here. We'll cover both, but we're going to start with delimited. And this basically means that your data, your words in this case, are separated by some character, like a comma, a tab, a space, a semicolon, something like that. In our case, we have a space, so this is the one we want, and click Next. All right, next we need to tell Excel what that delimiter is. For us, it'll be a space, like I just mentioned, down here at the bottom, you'll get a preview of how that's going to separate. That looks exactly right. And then click Next. Here we want to change the destination. By default, it's going to A2 as the starting point, which is our existing data. Rather than replace that, let's say we want to go to B. B2 is our starting point. Once you've selected that, click the little arrow here. Everything else should be good. And click Finish. There you go. There's the full name separated into two columns, first name, last name. Pretty easy, huh? All right, the next tab, we've got an example that uses commas as the delimiter, and we need to separate this address into three separate columns, one for street address, one for city, and one for state. So exactly the same steps here. Select the data that you want to split, come up to the Data tab, and then over to Text to Columns. Once again, we have delimited data, but in this case, it's going to be the comma, not the space. And from the preview down there in the bottom, you'll see that looks perfect. Click Next. Once again, rather than replacing what we have, let's go to a new column as our starting point. So we'll select B2 here and click the arrow. And that should do it. Click on Finish. There you go, everything is nicely separated out into those three different columns. All right, finally, zip codes with a fixed width. Let's move to this example. Sometimes you might have data like this where you've got zip codes of five digits, but then some of them have that extension on them, and you want to get rid of that extension. You just need everything with the five digits. So this is a good example. If we select all of these, come up to Data, and Text to Columns. This is a good example of when to use fixed width. So rather than splitting on something like a comma or a space, you want to split on the width of the field or the number of characters in it. If we come next, it'll make more sense. Here on this screen is where you select the place that you want to split. So I just clicked my mouse right here. You can see you can move it around to different characters, but we want that to be at character 5, and that's where we're going to split it. Okay, click on next. Once again, we'll go to the B column as our starting point, and click Finish. And there you go. So you could just grab all these zip codes and do whatever you need with them. Anything in this column you could just ignore, or whatever the use case is. So that's it. There's lots of different ways you could use this text-to-column functionality in your day-to-day -day work. Hopefully you saw something here that helps. If you want more Excel tips and how-tos, check out my Excel playlist, and be sure to subscribe to be notified when I upload new things. Thanks for watching.